a star citizen. <laughs> Anything can happen. C1 Crusader. And then we sell the Gasping Weevil Eggs for 1.5. Right? Boom. 1.5 in the bank. And we got 25 Maze. That is 2.1. So I'm already wrong. We got 3.6 already. And we didn't get What up guys, Astro Manning here, back at it again with another video, and today we're going to continue on with doing VHRTs, HRTs, MRTs, ERTs, whatever the case is, we're going to be doing bounty hunting, and we're using all the new ships, that's what we're going to be doing in the near future. Uh, we have we did the Sulin last time around. Today we're gonna take out the C1, the beautiful, absolutely tremendously super doper, absolutely gorgeous C1. That's what we're running today, and uh, then we'll maybe try out something special tomorrow. Check out tomorrow's video; it's gonna be absolutely crazy too. But today we're doing the C1, so that's what we're doing. Let's get into it, guys. You guys know what to do: smash that like button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe if you haven't already. So. Here we are in the C1. Absolutely gorgeous. We're going to go ahead and we're going to pick some bounty hunting missions. We're going to do maybe an HRT. Uh, maybe we should start with an MRT, right? Let's start with an MRT. Let's see the location of the MRT. It's a wreck site on sale and it's a pain in the butt. Where is the HRT? The HRT is on a location on Daymore. Let's actually do the HRT first, see how it goes. We might get our butt kicked right away doing the HRT, but whatever. Let's go ahead and make sure you do a call to arms as well so that you're getting your best bang for the buck. Not that it's that big of a deal. But anyways, accept that call to arms make a little bit of extra cash have some fun with it all right guys so um you know i'm gonna go ahead and say a few things as we go to the targets and whatnot and uh, we're going to continue with explanations about our giveaway right so we're going to be doing a giveaway when we get the 2,000 subscribers on the youtube channel and we're getting relatively close to that and um, so when we reach 2k subscribers we're going to be giving away 325a the information is down in the description below, so if you want to check that out, um, information is down in the description. All you have to do is make sure that you're watching my videos from here until now, and then um, make sure that you are like and commenting on every single video until we hit 2,000 subs, because I will be picking a random video to be cho the chosen victor to be the one that um, shows us who is the winner of the giveaway. So the people that are going to be in the drawing will be the people who comment and like on the video that is chosen at random. So just make sure you watch and like on my videos from here until 2K. And of course spread the word so that we can get to 2K. Thank you guys so much. I love you guys for all the support. And um, I'm having such a great time making all these videos. Also, if you um, don't know, I do live stream most days of the week. Uh, currently the official schedule is Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday nights at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, but I do tend to kind of just stream most days of the week, um, sometimes even every single day of the week. But uh, on YouTube, you guys don't have the official schedule because it's, there's no way to like post an actual stream schedule on YouTube unless I have the titles on in advance and all that kind of stuff. And I don't know what I'm going to be doing every single Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday. I don't know. But uh, so if you guys do want to catch those live streams, do make sure to check in on those days, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday and Sundays, and make sure that you want to be there for those um, because uh, cool stuff happens there. There's giveaways on live streams as well. Uh, other things to talk about. Um, I know I had other stuff. There was live streams. There was the memberships. If you want to join and become a member, you get into you get entered in the giveaways twice if you're a member, guys. So members do get entered into the drawings for giveaways twice and are automatically entered and don't have to be present or on the correct winning video. You are automatically in the giveaway if you're a member. So make sure to join that, especially if you want to go the extra mile and support me and the Astro Mercenaries on our adventure through the stars. So what do we got here, guys? As we're pulling in, we got a Vanguard Sentinel. We got a Prowler. And a, another Prowler. Is that double Prowler? Interesting. Okay, so double Prowler. Our neutralized target is... Uh, I don't know what's going on with the neutralized target. It's a little bit of desync here. I don't know. Um, so the C1 is not the most nimble or best fighter 
so these ships might actually cause a problem for us. We'll see what we can do here. And um, why not? Let's see what missiles we have. We only have four size threes. So uh, the, st the specs of the ship, we're just running four Panthers. We have our FR-76 shield, one size two FR-76. And then we have our four laser repeaters, right? Our Panthers. And that's all that really matters for the specs. Quantum drive is the XL1 because it's a size 2. We're going to go ahead and we're going to start laying into our opponents here. So you got to watch out on these prowlers. They have some big guns. They have size 5 guns. So do watch out for those, those big guns. I'm going to go ahead and uh, continue smacking on this prowler. He's taking his shields down, so that's good for us. Oh, they also have ballistas as well, so we do have to watch out for that. All these AI ships with ballistas make life really scary sometimes. Target destroyed. But there we go, we got one down. One good thing the C1 has for it, and I guess all the whole Spirit series has for it, is they have nice sized capacitors in their in their gun. So as you see, my Panthers have 42 shots each. That's actually really nice. So that is kind of nice. We're going to use that to our advantage. We're just going to lay into them consistently here. Swap back and forth between shields and weapons so then we can keep the extra bonus defense we have in our shields for when we have our power in the shields. Just go to weapons when they need to be recharged. Try to stay out of the range and the shots of the ballistas. There's a lot of desync going on. I apologize for that. I don't know what the heck that's about. That's kind of really annoying, the desync. Hey, and as you can see, all the guys are lined up together, so let's get out of that situation. We are not a fighter ship that could handle maneuvering around three different ships all at the same time. So let's, you know, actually get out of that situation and not kill ourselves. We'll use some missiles here, because why not? We'll send this boy out. And a nice land there on the missile. Good job. And hopefully we get these guys spread apart here. Maybe not. We use quite a bit of boost, so be aware of the fact that we use so much boost. The size 2 shield bug is biting us here. It's really making it difficult to finish off this prowler. If we didn't have to deal with the size 2 shield bug, he would be probably dead already. Nonetheless, we have to deal. So we're going to still keep our distance so we just don't get tagged by those ballistics. And we'll come back in. You see, look at him just eating up all the shields here. Or all the shots here because he just, just got the size 2 shield book. We got a little bit behind him now. And we want to stay behind him now. And there we go. Good shots, good shots, good shots, good shots. Okay, so we, we've got them weak. The rest of the team has arrived for support. So we're actually going to pull off. Missile maybe lost. prep some missiles again. As you can see, the C1 is not is definitely not used for um, HRTs. We're just doing a little bit of fancy flying here to make sure that we get the job done. We had a fancy flying here. We got his shield down again. We got behind him. Should be able to land some good shots here and hopefully get the kill. There it is. Target destroyed. We'll start working on the Sentinel now. See what we can do here on the Sentinel. And as I accidentally pressed the tilde button there, we almost ran the Sentinel because I lost a little bit of control there. I apologize. My stick hit my keyboard. My my new mount that I have for my keyboard is a little close to my sticks. So sometimes, if I'm not careful, and my mounts move a little bit, my stick mounts move a little bit because I still don't have my Predator mounts that have been in the mail for like six months. <laughs> um, so yeah. 
I'm using cheap stick mounts, so sometimes things like that happen. Nonetheless, whoa, careful. Sometimes I ask myself, what should I be doing here? Decoupled or coupled? Depends on the ship, depends on the situation. In this situation, I really like keeping the momentum that I have with the C1. You see how I'm just carrying so much momentum with me? And the decoupled really helps with that. Makes it kind of hard for these guys to hit me. But I'm flying with so much momentum. So, there we go. We got the final kill, or not the final kill, but we got the kill on the Sentinel. What we're going to actually do now is we're going to fly down towards the planet. We, we flew really high up in the air. Let's see if we can get the Cuddy to follow us down into the planet. So, or maybe we could get the Cuddy to follow us into space. What's, does anyone know? Leave a comment down below. What is the um, limit on Daymar for its uh, enter, into, enter out of the atmosphere into space? Because that would be helpful right now if I knew that. I don't know if the Cuddy is, what the Cuddy's doing. I think we're going down. Maybe maybe we will just go down towards... Oh, there you go, he's waking up. Okay, I think we're gonna go down. Maybe we can get him to drive down and follow us down. So we're gonna be careful as we go down to the planet side. Just a little sneak peek into what we're gonna do in the future for some missions in the future here, guys. I do a lot of group play by the way, you know, because of my org and stuff. Uh, let me throw that as a plug, right? My Discord, my org, down in the description, there's plugs to my Discord and my org down in the description. And so I do a whole lot of group play. So solo stuff, sometimes I don't do too much anymore. And I'm trying to give you guys a little bit of both. And so this is like, you know, soloing in a C1. But we can definitely, you can definitely do this with a friend and bring other ships. Oh my gosh, see the C1 is just not meant for this. He's got my shields down. I'm just going to let him pepper at the back shields while I let the front shields recharge. A little tactic there. And then we'll flip around. Because I need a low fly to do what I'm trying to do. Oh! Well, that's not what I'm trying to do. Are we okay? Yeah, we're okay. Is he okay? Yeah, he's okay. So the Cuddies are still have their invuln bug. Which really sucks. But hey, we have to deal with that, so I'm gonna do what I can here and hit him in the canopy. Doing a good job, doing a good job. Stick on him, maybe we get to get him by his turret. Break off a wing. Now we can definitely shoot him in the canopy, right? There we go, we got him. That was actually pretty damn perfect. It's not always gonna be that perfect, but it was pretty damn perfect. Now if I switch to scanning mode, I could scan this Cuddy as he zips around the ground right now and see if he has any cargo in it. And guess what? He has some Widow and Neon and stuff in him. So what we're going to do, ladies and gentlemen, in our solo, in our solo A2, or C C1, Words, Crusader ships, <laughs> in our solo C1, we're going to land next to this cutty that we killed roughly, by the way. Like, that wasn't easy. To kill a cutty like that, planet side, in a C1, man, that's hard. With the invincible cutty bug at the moment, where if you shoot them in the hole of their ship, they don't take any damage. 
that can be really hard, guys. So that was that was some really good quality flying and shooting there uh, f to get that to to pull off correctly. Man, I must be in a rough server because these doors are just not opening. <laughs> But hey, I bring you content whether we're in a rough server, a good server, or whatever the heck is going on. We get it done for you guys. Make sure you have a multi-tool as always. As I've told you guys plenty of times, always have a multi-tool. No matter the case, no matter what you're doing, you should always have multi-tools. They are disposable. Always have them. Okay. So... We want to open up the cutty. There you go. Open up the cutty. Yeah, my server is doing absolutely fantastic. Server is doing absolutely fantastic. Can I please use my multi-tool? No, you don't. You don't want to use it. What if I make you put it in your hand? that hey you guys see that that's actually really cool the cutlass black has a soda can in it an empty soda can that's funny <laughs> okay so we got some oxytross in we'll just toss that in actually should we try to use the tractor beam on the ship i had to get the door open in the first place but now Oh, we have the door open. Oh my god, this server is not running well. We can try to use the tractor beam on our handy dandy C1. This is a little taste of what future episodes of bounty hunting are going to be like. Just to let you guys know. This is a future taste of that. Where's the power button on this thing, guys? Over here. And then enter remote turret. And then we want to do S key. Press the S key. S is supposed to retract you. Um. Okay. I thought S was supposed to move the turret. I guess not. We'll just uh, press deploy. <clears throat> it's supposed to. I don't know if the the server is acting up, so that's what's happening or whatever, but nonetheless. Look at that. Grab some Widow off of here. And we'll just do a loop. It's a little bit weird using the tractor beam of the C1. <laughs> Because it does like that weird like swing around and it's very very sensitive guys very sensitive is it is this um efficient i will have to tell you no this is not efficient to do it this way is it cool to do it this way yes is it efficient no well especially when you press the f key accidentally when you're in the middle of stuff. There we go. Like I said, definitely not efficient, but it gets the job done. <laughs> it's unique. It's cool. By the way, those are weevil eggs over there, guys. Yes, I just have some weevil eggs that I have been sitting in my C1 for quite some time. So we are going to make a good payday off of this. And I found them, I think, just randomly. My C1 is my everyday driver to just have some fun with. It's a nice sized box of Widow, right? Pull that bad boy out. Throw that in here. 
Um, probably should do something like, 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 hold on. Let's put that down right there. Oh, oh, well, okay. Be careful not to kill ourselves. It's really sensitive, guys. Uh, do I do I have tips and tricks on using this tractor beam? Not really. <laughs> it's just really, really sensitive. I think maybe the answer is maybe don't use mouse and keyboard. There might be a better way of doing it using sticks or using a different kind of thing. But using mouse and keyboard is a little rough. <laughs> it's really weird. So we'll throw that in. <clears throat> Put that all the way down the line. There we go. And then we'll grab... Well, we don't want the distilled spirits, so we'll just toss those. <laughs> grab the whole freaking... Uh, Cutty, huh? That works too. Right? Alright. And we'll, uh... We don't... We don't... We don't want that there. We actually want to rotate. Thank you. Alright. Sure, let's put it there for a second. And then push it down. Sure, let's put it there for a second. And then push it down. Boom. It's that easy, boys and girls. <laughs> I say it's that easy. That was actually really difficult. <laughs> and I'm struggling to get out of my seat. This is the server I'm on, ladies and gentlemen. This is the server I'm on. I'm stuck in my seat. Yeah, let's let's hit the exit button. See if that helps. Stuck in my seat. Oh, 30k? Or crash the desktop. Thirty K. That's okay. We got all the cargo in the ship. It should all be saved. I'll see you guys in a minute when we get back. <laughs> Alrighty, folks, we are back, and we are back in the C1, and we're about to finish up this here video. Um, I do have a little bit of bad news. Uh, good news is we're about to be doing a VHRT to continue showing off how good the C1 is in bounty hunting, which is <clears throat> not the greatest, but it's okay. You know, it's an everyday ship, so it should be able to do everything. We're going to try it out on VHRTs, which I probably don't recommend. I would not recommend doing VHRTs. Stick to HRTs or, or MRTs if you're running solo in this ship. This ship just does not really have what it takes to do VHRTs, but we're going to go try it anyways. Um, the bad news is we can just... Uh, show you this here the bad news is what did I just do the bad news is there's no cargo in here I apologize for the can I think I accidentally hit a save camera <laughs> but there you go the bad news is there's no cargo in our cargo grid <laughs> now that I've completely butchered that camera view and whatnot um, yeah, let's get uh, going and continue our bounty hunting. We're going to go to Yella, and we have this VHRT, and we'll see what is going to be waiting for us there. If we find more cargo to acquire here on Yella, then we may continue to do that situation of things. But for the most part, this is a proof of bounty hunting power of the C1. And uh, that's what we're here for. No matter what the ship is, whether it's a cargo ship, a fighter ship, or 
a tow truck. <coughs> Next video, uh, we're going to do VHRTs. We're going to do bounty hunting in it. Uh, no matter what the ship is, it's going to get thrown into bounties to see what it can do and to see what it's capable of. Uh, sound good, guys? Right? I think it sounds good. Sorry for the email notification. I don't know why my email notification sounds are on. They usually are not on. It's really weird. Um, anyways, yeah, so uh, look out for next week's video when it might be a, or not next week, sorry, tomorrow's video where it might be a tow truck <laughs> doing bounty hunting. Don't worry about it. It's going to be beautiful. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> You're just going to have to find out. So here we are going into a VHRT, and there's a Cuddy Black, okay, there's a Vanguard Hoplite, sure, and there's an uh, Ares Ion, I believe, and a Starfire Genif Gemini. So those are all, um, okay, shit, holy cow, those missiles came at me very awkwardly. Um, so very interesting targets. We can definitely take out this Ion here. Get rid of him. Be careful of the Ion and with his superpowers of having a size 7 cannon. It will hurt. So make sure that you are not letting him take free shots on you. Because it will hurt. But we'll take care of that nice and easily. Well, the ships aren't tearing us apart. There's a Starfire Gemini. Watch out for the turrets on that thing because it does have quite a bit of turret gunners. So stay aware of that. Here is the Hoplite. We'll go ahead and take out the Hoplite because this thing won't have any cargo on it either. So we'll just do some fancy flying. Attack on shield. Get behind the thing, which is what we did. Like it was nothing. Fancy flying to get behind the ship. Fancy flying to stay behind the ship. Hopefully we don't hit any uh, asteroids because we're not paying too much attention to where we're flying. Destroyed. There it goes. Target destroyed. Well done. Now we have to do a little bit more fancy flying to kill the Cuddy Black because if you know, as I showed off a little bit earlier in the video, Cuddy Blacks are hard to kill because they're in vulnerabilities. So we'll have to do a little bit of extra fancy flying here to position ourselves correctly on the cutty. Make sure we keep its shields down. We did see that asteroid to our side. I think there it is over there. So we don't have to worry too much about it. Stay on the upper part. Hit the canopy, hit the canopy, hit the canopy. Watch him. Stay on his canopy. We got him. Target destroyed. We are getting tagged a little bit from the Gemini, it seems. Yes. So watch our shields. They should be okay. Should be charging a bit. Watch your speed. Watch your boost. Watch everything. Make sure you're cycling your powers. And then get you some damage in here on the Gemini. Seems that two of my guns are not currently working. More server issues. That's okay. Get the back shields. Oh, we're, we're completely... Maybe if I cycle the power on my weapons real quick. Maybe they'll come back and start working. That's always an option to hopefully get weapons to work. Did not seem to do the job there. So unfortunately, we are only using two badgers. Make sure we are looking to not hit any asteroids. I don't like the fact that we're drifting that way. I don't like the way that we're drifting anyways. I'm trying to stay above the Gemini. Because the Gemini itself has a little bit of buggy stuff where um, it doesn't take damage from the bottom. So it's really good to hit the Gemini on the top. We're in really good positioning here. We see we got it really red. And it should be the kill here real soon. Target destroyed. There it is, target destroyed. Even with our only two guns working. Fine and dandy. And now, that just showed you how the C1 solo can take on 
VHRTs of certain ranks. Um, I wouldn't say all ranks. Like I said, it is that wasn't easy. It took a little bit of fancy flying. Um, I do have dual sticks, so you know, a little bit of fancy flying here and there doesn't hurt. And now we're gonna scan it and see what we can get from a solo trip. <laughs> you know, sometimes it pays to check the cargo. As you can see, there's 25 maize and 14 weevil eggs on this here ship. So we're going to go get paid. And guess what? Yes, we're going to keep this in the video. You guys want to see it? You guys want to see the solo uh, C1 getting paid? I think so, right? That's beautiful. Of course, we have to get it sold and everything, but, you know... That's for the future Manny to deal with, not the current. And we'll show you that in the video too and everything. We'll look forward to a bunch of these videos coming. Guys, I'm going to show you guys how, it, how to get things done properly and whatnot. I'm going to just line this up as best as I can to get it nice and easy to do what we need to do, do a little bit of down thrust to get right where we want to be basically. And that'll do the job right there. Open the back door up, get out of our seat, and let's go get the work. This will be the only ship that we even check. We don't even need to check the other ships because we only have 64 cargo and we might as well just fill up here and not bother going to the other ones. I mean, you can if you want to be super efficient, but I'm making a video and I don't want to spend too much time doing all this, you know? I want to keep you guys, keep it short, even though this is going to be a longer video because this says two times where I've used cargo. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted, but that works. Ah! <laughs> Taking ramp. Okay, so here we are in our... Gemini, we'll go ahead and we'll just toss this maze in there, put it in there somewhere, all the way in the back, possibly. Again, I could use the tractor beam. Is it efficient to use the tractor beam? I wouldn't say yes. Um, this is a big box of maze. It's a little bit difficult to get the big box out, huh? Maybe we get these bottom boxes off first. What we'll do is, this is ETAM, it's not bad. ETAM is uh, 11k, I believe, per SEU, so it's not bad. Neon is 9k, so we're going to actually uh, put that over there. By the way, if you want to make it easier on yourself, you could take these fuel tanks off. And get rid of them. If you want to make it easier on yourself, just just saying. You don't have to, obviously, because like I, I, I wasn't. Um, you even take this thing off. For sure, take that thing off, because the fuel pod was definitely in the way. But um, you could take these off and make it easier on yourself. Get rid of them. Let's see, you have a better, clear shot to your ship. It's not necessary, but. Could be able to make things a little bit easier. So again, here's neon, and we'll uh, put the neon over here. Those are our 9K boxes of neon, and then we have our maze, right? I'm gonna try to uh... shit, man. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, so here's a big box of etan, right? What is? Can I get these things out, please? Thank you. No? What is holding this thing up? There we go, got it. That was a bit frustrating. But we'll put the ETAM over here. Because again, we, we want the ETAM. Where does our maze go? If we don't fill up on the maze, we're going to want the ETAM. 
But first, we want to make sure we get the maze and the weevil eggs. Also, using the tractor beam in the C1 will be a little bit interesting with, if you're trying to use it on a Starfarer because of all the field canisters and everything in the way. But it could be useful. Could be. I showed it off before. I don't need to show it off again, basically, is what I'm saying, right? So, um, here's Slam. That's actually the next best thing after uh, Weave Legs and everything. So, what we'll do is we'll, we'll put that over there because we're definitely going to take the Slam. And then we got more ETAM. Put the ETAM over here. And then what we'll do is grab this maze. And what I'm going to do actually is go in here. I'm going to, to RC1. And I'm going to organize it a bit because if you saw what I saw, there was a big box. There was a big box of um, weevil eggs. So we're going to want to put that big box make sure we have space for that big box okay so get in here and it's a it's a big box of etam man it sure has a lot of etam and etam like i said is pretty decent it's 11k per seu so those are big boxes of etam and that's a lot of a lot of cash money Here's our weevil eggs. This is the biggest money that we can get out of them all in this box right here. So we'll continue to place these bad boys in. And we'll select them over here. And voila. Okay. And then what we'll do is we'll grab the rest of the maze and the ETAM, or the rest of the maze and the weevil eggs, which are probably the screen boxes. Now that I'm looking at it, it might have been easier to do this with the tractor beam. I'm not sure off the top of my head, but it might have been. Um, the reason why I'm saying that is because the tractor beam could reach much farther. The ship tractor beam could reach much farther than your personal tractor beam, your little mini tool, or the the rifle tractor beam, either way. Um, so it might have been a little bit easier. But this is much more precise. Oh god, that's not what I wanted. There we go. And so, <laughs> this is good stuff. Good finds, guys. Good finds. So that's an ETAM, and then we have some Widow, and we have some more Weevil Eggs. Okay, so I thought there was more maze in there. Did I just miscalculate on how much maze was in there? I don't know. But we'll do that, and what we'll do is, um, was that Widow? What did I do with that widow? Was it a two SU crate or was it a single? A single. So that's kind of lame. What we'll do is we'll take this. Oh, the slam. Right? Okay. So what we'll do is we'll take the widow. Right? We'll take the widow. And put that. There we go. Exactly right there. And we'll take the slam. And now I'm looking at it, that one maze might be what we want, anyways. So, what we'll do is. Oh, oh, oh. Gravity's uh, winning the battle here. This is my fault. I shouldn't be getting as close as I am to the, to the thing. But, anyways. So, we'll do this. I actually want to take the widow off, which means I gotta take the slam off. And we're gonna put the widow to the side for now. Gosh dang it. So we can put the slam up here and the maze up there. Okay? And then what we'll do is we'll put the widow to the side for a moment. 
while we try to stick one of these big old ETM boxes in here. We have extra space, right? Um, are they both the same size? Yeah, they're both 1.2s. I don't know if this will fit. I guess we'll find out, right? If we can, if it does, score, right? It does. Okay, perfect. So that's it. Um, we'll, we're going to drop the Widow out. Obviously, you could fit more in the ship if you, uh, like, throw it in the walkway. Right, guys? You could fit more in the ship if you throw it in the walkway. But the thing with that is currently in the current patch that we're in, if the, if the items are not attached to the grid, you can't sell them. So if we were to go to a place to go sell, we would have to sell what is on the grid, then come back to the ship and put the stuff that is not on the grid onto the grid and then go sell it, which doesn't seem too much of a inconvenience or whatever, but it can be a little annoying and for the sake of the video I'm not going to do it. Maybe in a future video we'll stuff the C1 or something else a little bit more uh, cram packed but uh, I think this was more than a reasonable beautiful find and I'm happy with it. So we're just going to be happy with our find and show hey look we did an HRT we did a VHRT and we found great cargo each time. And um, since I am solo and i don't have any friends with me currently and i am not in a combat ship i'm not gonna go to brios okay you can say oh well don't be scared well um it's not being scared it's being smart brios is a very very occupied uh war zone where there's lots of fighting going on so instead of going to brios to sell my drugs i'm gonna go to walla and i'm gonna go to samson sun and salvage center to sell my drugs instead you know be a little bit smart <coughs> if you're playing solo and you're in a cargo ship don't risk your life when you don't have to so i will see you guys when we get there so i can show you guys the final price even though that's not what this video is about it's about the bounty hunting does this ship do well in bounty hunting it can it's a daily driver it's a c1 it could do absolutely everything look at this ship it can do everything you know why because it's fucking gorgeous that's all i'm gonna say it's the most gorgeous ship in the game the c1 the most gorgeous ship in the game thank you guys look at that it's beautiful it's beautiful any plugs i need to throw in nah i'll skip to the selling i'll see you guys there all right all right folks we're back we're pulling into samson sun and salvage center um and that'll that, that'll be the end of this one once we get down but we do have at least a couple million, if not 10 million, just in the C1. It's not 10 million. Maybe. It's going to be It's gonna be a lot. It's probably like 5 million. Let's be real. It's, uh, there was a big box of Weevil Eggs, right? So just the big box of Weevil Eggs is probably a million alone. So I'm guessing, if I had a guess, it's going to be around 3 million, right? Final answer is 3 million. 3.5. 4 million tops. I don't know. I didn't. I didn't really calculate, <laughs> but we'll find out. Um, now that I'm recalculating in my head, I'm going three million tops. Two point five million is what we got. I don't know. Leave it down in the comments below. I guess if you've seen the whole video, you know how much it actually was. So that doesn't make sense. You would already know. <laughs> oh well. Remember guys, we're doing a giveaway, so do make sure that you do leave a comment, just in case this is the video that is chosen to be the winner of the giveaway and whatnot, so. Appreciate all the support as well, guys. It really helps the algorithm when you guys smash that like button and leave comments. And of course, down in the description is more information on the giveaway and other things like the Discord and the org. And also you can become a member to get into the giveaways double time get two entries in the giveaway if you become a member let's finish this up i think the server is still a little bit wonky okay it's working okay there we go i i pressed the open all doors button to get that to open up i guess i should play it safe and close this up just in case someone was to attack us and and this is still dangerous going to any um salvage depot solo is really dangerous guys I don't recommend doing it, 
but um, when you're doing solo stuff, you kind of have to, right? So do watch the corner when you first come in. Be like, pa pa pa. Make sure there's nobody there. Do make sure that no one pops up on the side here. Maybe hold. Maybe wait a few seconds before you get on the terminal, because someone will probably wait till you get on the terminal before they attack you. Um, so if you wait a few seconds, make sure that no one comes up behind you. But hey, you know, it's a star citizen. <laughs> Anything can happen. C1 Crusader, and then we sell the Gasping Weevil Eggs for 1.5. Right? Boom. 1.5 in the bank. And we got 25 Maze. That is 2.1. So I'm already wrong. We got 3.6 already. And we didn't get very much of the slam. The 16K. And then a bunch of ETAM. So we made about 3.4, 3.3. Um, we didn't. So we did. We did good. That was a very good haul for a C1 Spirit, guys. Doing one VHRT. Now, mind you, that was really lucky. <laughs> the, mind you, that was really lucky. But. Um, it gets the job done, right? I <laughs> uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, that's going to be the end of this one. Make sure you smash that like button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I do appreciate you guys again. I know I say it a lot, and I know I talk about it a lot, but you know we're trying to get the channel to grow. We're a small channel, and we're and we're continuing to grow, and it's just exciting every single day. Uh, <laughs> but I won't ramble too long. That was a good run. I'm really happy. I really love how beautiful this ship is. It's absolutely gorgeous. This is like the, in my opinion, daily driver now just because of how pretty it is and how much cargo space it has and on the fact of that just look at that that's just absolutely gorgeous there's no complaints on this i wish it was daytime so i could take a really nice screenshot for this but hey we'll take it this is astro manny signing off i hope you guys have a wonderful day i'll see you next time and adios